All right, you guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be reacting to the 98th best player in the NFL for 2019, voted by the players, watched by you, reacted to by me. Number 98, Tyler Lockett, wide receiver. That's what we wanna see, wide receiver for the Seahawks. Now, when I see that wide receiver for the Seahawks, I think of, what's his name? DK Metcalf. Is he going to be on the top 100 next year? Who knows? People say he's got a sh terrible route running style. Terrible at changing direction. He does have the breakaway speed. He's got the size. He's got the strength. But does he have the route running to be a, a really good wide receiver? That's what I want to find out. Apparently someone who does is Tyler Lockett. I love wide receivers. I love running backs. I love quarterbacks. I love punters. I love kickers. I love every position. Let's get into it, guys. Number 98, Tyler Lockett, wide receiver for the Seahawks. The quicker you here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Russell has all kinds of time. Fires a dart. Touchdown! Bloody dart, that was. Celebration by the Seahawks wideouts is a little basketball with Tyler Lockett dropping one in the bucket. Shit, I actually forgot... I'm going to do something that I was meant to do last last time. Um, whether Derek Henry got a thousand rushing yards last year. He did! He got 1,059 rushing yards off of 215 attempts at an average of 4.9. 12 touchdowns. That's fucking good. And he's only 99 on the list. Alright. So to celebrate so much Allen Iverson? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. Posed the question, so we gave him the answer. <laughs> See what you made of, mate. Yeah, I think with with Tyler, everybody one has wanted to label him as like a kick returner and a special teams guy. <laughs> Luke looks like he's dyed his hair. Don't tell me you've dyed your hair, Luke. And then when he makes plays, okay. everyone's like, "Oh, we had a good game," as in like they didn't expect it from him. Really? Tyler Lockett? He's running free downfield. Great job by Lockett. Not putting his hands up too early. Fuller doesn't even know the ball's coming there in the last second. Lockett makes it tough. He's the underdog. Tyler's one of those guys he can stretch the field. Just one on one, and Tyler beat him by about Look at that ball. Right by Marcus Peters. Tyler Lockett, wow. Just running away from Byron Jones. Oh, what a catch. Not even on the chest, My straight to the hands. When he threw that rainbow ball up in the air, and I had to try to find it and track it, and we was able to catch the ball. Tyler Lockett looks for the ball. He's got it. Tyler Lockett judges it perfectly. It's definitely not easy to track that ball. And you know what? I've I've caught a few um, passes recently, long passes here in Alice, just with a friend, and I've come to realize that sprinting off of the mark is important, but when you're going to turn around and actually look for the ball, don't rush it. You know, I've been trying to sprint whilst turning around and sprinting the whole entire route till I get to the ball. But sometimes that ball's going to come up short and sometimes it's going to go long. Sometimes it's going to go left, sometimes it's going to go right. So get yourself down the field a certain amount, slow down a bit, turn around and then assess whether you need to sprint or jog. Because for me, I have been completely overrunning it or underrunning it and I'm just... I'm trying to get it through my head, you know, how, what cues you have whilst running when you're looking for the ball over your head, a massive ball, it's not easy to track. I know that now. And to catch it on the full, 50 yards down the field, I mean, that's near impossible. So to watch this and see this happen, I mean, I, I, I do have a bit of a better, better understanding of the game now, so I hope you can appreciate that. Anyways, let's go. I was go. trying to find the ball, and then I just seen something flying way up in the air, and I said, this got to be it. <laughs> That's got to be it. For some reason, him and him and Russell have like a really good understanding of each other. I have to be able to understand the type of quarterback that he is in order to be the receiver that he needs me to be. Understanding how he looks whenever he's scrambling, how he's able to go through his reads and progressions allows me to be able to understand what exactly I need to do to get open. Bang off the list. In plays. Lockett ran a short route and then worked his way deep and made sure he got himself open to give the opportunity to Russell Wilson. The rating between those two guys and 
and the percentage of completion between those two was really high. Not just time, perfect. Yep, Russell Wilson had a perfect quarterback rating in 2018 throwing to Tyler Lockett. Shit. Not only that, Lockett had the highest yard per target number since the league began keeping target stats in 1992. Regardless of what DB I line up against, I should never have to change what I do to try to figure out how to be him. I should always stay true to my strengths and have him try to figure out how to be my strengths. You got it, mate. Alexander just could not have confidence in yourself. Guys that can play football, they end up being good players. They always come to the top, no matter where they came from, how big they are. Jeez, he's made a few spectacular catches, hasn't he? If you can play football, you can play football. And Tyler Lockett, to me, is a football player. All career highs here, 57 receptions, nearly 1,000 yards, but most importantly, 10 touchdowns. <laughs> Uh, seeing that, seeing him uh, do the somersault over the line reminds me of one try and one try only. Back in the day for the Crusaders, Canterbury Crusaders, my local rugby team. I think I was about ten years old when this happened. Aaron Major Flip. <laughs> Aaron Major flip try. Crusaders flip. Or well, maybe it was an All Blacks game. Let's see. Maybe it was this one. That was pretty well. Circumstances. Against Romania in the World Cup 2007. Very big one by his standards, but it eventually sits up for Nick Evans. Nick Evans, oh my god, I haven't heard that name for a while. McAllister. McAllister. Oh, beautiful ball there. Gives it to Major and he's over. Yeah, that wasn't it. Nick Minnett. Nah, we're not going to find it, guys. Anyways, that was Tyler Lockett, wide receiver for the Seahawks. Uh, took a fair few spectacular catches and uh, runs routes like a magician, it seems. For those of you who are Seahawks fans, I want to say shout out to you. The next player we're going to look at played for the Cowboys. Byron Jones, cornerback, number 31. Last year, not on the list. In fact, I think every single player that's been on here so far wasn't on the list last year, which is fantastic. That means we get new talent, new players coming through the ranks, and new players for me to react to. So I'll see you in the next one, guys, for number 97, Byron Jones.